Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm showing how to create an instant Zoom meeting. So there are situations where you want to create a meeting immediately. Um, like you don't have time to schedule it. Sometimes your boss comes and say, create a meeting and invite me. So in this case, you will have to create an instant meeting. So I'll be discussing how to create an instant meeting uh, in this video. So first of all, you will have to open your Zoom application. I already opened the Zoom application and click on the home option. When you click on the home, you can see uh, there are four options here. We already discussed how to schedule a meeting and how to edit a scheduled meeting uh, in the last two videos. But in this video, I'm showing how to create a meeting immediately. So we have this option new meeting this is for creating the meeting immediately but there are uh, something else you need to know when you click on this arrow pointing downward you have an option like start with video when you uncheck this one when you start the meeting the video will be off in default you can change it of course but you can choose this option if you don't want to start the meeting directly with the audio so that thing you need to know and here you have second option use personal meeting id um, if you don't want to share your personal meeting id with the unknown people that your uh, participants you can uncheck this option so that uh, meeting id will be created separately and let's just uh, so this is your personal meeting id in case if you want to uh, use that one you can go with this option if you don't have any problem to share your personal meeting id so that's fine and now let's just uncheck this option and uh, i don't want to start the meeting with the video and just i click on the new meeting settings click on new meeting so automatically the window will be opening like this I just to disable my camera um, now you can see here that the meeting is already started and here you have option different options here uh, the first thing we need to know is how to invite the people of course if you created a meeting there is no meaning if there is participants so you can get the invitation link by clicking on the participants and click on invite option so here you have option to add the people or uh, to uh, to send the invitation if you have contacts here and you can directly send email invitation using the um, using the email service provider if you click on gmail it will take you to the gmail application I will not, uh, so if, if you don't want to um, send them email you can just uh, manually copy the invitation link and you can uh, send it via manually via whatsapp or even in Outlook email application where you can send it. So there are different options to choose uh, to invite your participants in the meeting. And you can go with the default email if you are using the uh, default application uh, in your Windows computer. So again, if you have a Yahoo email, it will take you to the Yahoo email uh, section. If you are already logged in, you can directly invite the people with your invitation link. All right, that is the first thing you need to know. In here in the security you have option to log meeting and enable the waiting room if you just don't want to people don't join directly so that you will have to admit the people who has joined the meeting then only they will be attend the meeting and here you have option to hide the profile picture so that the uh, profile picture will not be there all right uh, when you log the meeting there is a problem that no one else can join unless you unlock the meeting so you need to make sure you don't you are not locking in the meeting unless it's required uh, and you can enable the waiting room for your security purpose if you don't want to uh, join the people directly without your permission you have to admit it manually and here you have option to allow the participants which means um, your guest to share the screen chat rename themselves unmute themselves start video so here you can uh, uncheck the option if if you don't want to see their face then you can uncheck this one you don't uh, they cannot start the video and you can also um, make this option enabled if you don't want them to speak unless you permit them and you can enable uh, not to rename them they cannot rename their their, their self 
they cannot chat you can uh, un you can uncheck all this option and in case if you don't want to in default share screen option is not there but if you want to let them share this share their screen you can uh, enable this option so that's what you have in your uh, allow participants activities and here you can suspend participants activity directly uh, if there is someone is using microphone or something or sharing screen you can directly suspend the uh, all participants activities including the screen sharing and everything and the meeting will be locked so that's one option uh, as in the beginning I have told you how to um, uh, start the meeting without the video but uh, in case if you want to start it manually after you already created the meeting and everyone has joined then you can just click on this one to start the uh, video but uh, as you can see uh, it's showing a screen different screen because I have already disabled my uh, um, my uh, webcam that's why you are not able to see me uh, anyway you have seen me so for uh, for for uh, two three times when I when I was changing the camera that's how uh, that's how it is and if you want to mute yourself you can just click on mute so that the people will not be able to um, hear you if you want to speak to your colleagues or something then you can use this option here you have option to switch between your microphone and speakers if you have multiple speakers or microphone uh, on your on your system here you have option to test your speaker and microphone this is has to be it has to be tested before you start the meeting uh, not in uh, not uh, in, in uh, not when you are in the meeting and already the participants have joined so initially it will check the zoom itself check the speaker and microphone so that uh, it will uh, it will make a test in the beginning and here you have option to leave the computer audio in case if you uh, don't want to join with the audio you can also uh, test the uh, microphone and speaker here using this option now after that you can just join with the computer audio after your testing so that's how it is and audio settings that will be another part that we'll be discussing in the coming video mm, chat option of course you have a chat option here you have uh, everyone in this option you can put the file here from Dropbox or even from your computer or Google Drive you can share it with your chat section so the people can uh, everyone can see here the chat option but in case if you have uh, the people already joined you can even chat with specifically to that person I cannot show it because I don't have any participants in the meeting and you can uh, share your screen like you have uh, different options here you can um, share a whiteboard and you can draw something uh, for example you can draw something so that the people are seeing your screen uh, that's how it is sharing the screen you can share even your uh, you can also enable multiple people to share the screen simultaneously or only one person can share at a time this is the best option so that the, there will be no confusion to the people and uh, advanced sharing option that we will discuss in uh, coming video uh, here we don't have that much option so it's um, same as this one who can share only one participant at a time and who can share you can make it all participants or only host uh, if it's all participants uh, who can start sharing when someone else is sharing only host all, all participants you can also check this option if uh, if multiple uh, participants can share at a specific time so we'll keep it as it is and uh, this is the this is how you want you can share your screen that's fine now let's if you want to record your uh, live meeting you can just click on this one or you can just click on alt r so that the meeting will be recorded and uh, after you end the meeting the recording will be saved automatically if you didn't interrupt you can send the reaction in the meeting in between the meeting one reaction at a time not like in uh, in your uh, spamming in the meeting so that's how you can uh, do that option so here you have all the option you can make it full screen if you want to make your meeting in the full screen option so I believe this um, video gave a good idea about how to start a meeting in um, uh, in zoom application and I believe this uh, was
helpful to you i really thank you for watching completely subscribe the channel click the bell icon for notification take care goodbye